In today's video, we are going to review and compare the Lancome Translucence Loose Powder. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Jensine, aka Jungle Naps, and I'm so happy to see you again. If this is the first time you are looking at my face, or maybe uh, this is the first time you're actually realizing that you're not a subscriber, which, oh my god, like, what's going on? <laughs> Um, if you would like to, go ahead and subscribe, and if you want to be notified for when I do live streams, go ahead and click that notification bell. I do upload three times a week, and uh, yeah, if you like beauty reviews and tutorials and hauls and all that good stuff, then uh, come on, welcome to the family. Okay, so like I told you guys, um, I've got the Lancome Translucence Powder. Let me take it right out of here for you. So straight out of the box, uh, this is the powder. As you can see, it is tinted in a darker brown shade, which I am digging. This is uh, the shade 500. That's all it says here, just 500. It's a deeper brown shade, and it does retail for $37. And you can get it at Nordstrom's, you can get it online, at the Lancome website, all that good stuff. And the price is pretty consistent online from what I've seen. Now I thought, how nice would it be if we did a little bit of a comparison and we compared it to the Derma Blend Setting Powder in Warm Saffron. Now this little guy, if you don't have it already, retails for $27. So there's about a $10 price difference in the two. Looking at this straight off the bat, uh, I can tell that this one here already is a darker color, so I'm going to use this for my under eyes, and then I'm going to use this for the rest of my face. So, I've already primed my face, and I'm testing out a new primer from e.l.f. Um, I'm still kind of like forming my opinions on it, but if you want me to do a video on that, please let me know down in the comments. So, the foundation I'm going to be using, which I'm just in love with, is the Smashbox Skin, uh, what is it, the Studio Skin Shaping Foundation, and this is in the color 4.2. It also comes with a nice contour shade that's complementary to the foundation shade. So let's see here. I'm going to twist this up and I like to just, you know, draw these lines all across my face. And today I'm using my Morphe M439. I've used a beauty blender for this as well and it works quite nicely. It blends like a dream. So this first coating of the foundation is super light. It's more of like a medium coverage foundation, which is what I would say, but I'm gonna add a little bit more because I just want a little bit more coverage. Now I'm gonna move on to concealer, and I really wanna use something that everybody has, the Tarte Shape Tape in the shade Deep, and it is very, very full coverage. It is a more like heavier concealer, so if you don't like that, this is probably not for you. And now I'm going to go in with my Eco Tools little sponge. These are such good blenders and they're so affordable. And the best thing is that they don't even suck up as much product as the Beauty Blender does. Okay, so for those highlighted areas, I'm using the Derma Blend under my eyes, below my chin, and also for my forehead. Ideally, I would have liked to use the Lancome one under my eyes, but it seems to be quite a bit darker than my actual complexion. So I want to make sure that, you know, I use the appropriate color. But I do love this powder so much. It is such a smooth powder, you guys, and it just keeps everything in place. Okay, so I also like to push my translucent powder in, and then I like dust away the excess, so you can see how smooth those areas are. And now we gotta test out what this Lancome powder is like. So, when I open it up here, it's got a really nice little compact. Ooh, and this is very, very, very soft. I won't honestly see myself using this. I like to just keep these as like decorative stuff because honestly, 
I just find these like kind of a hassle for me to use. I prefer a brush. And when you take out the little seal here, this is what the powder looks like. Now what I'm gonna do is just typical, I'm gonna pour this powder into the cap and then show you guys what it looks like. Okay, so when you look here, it's more of like a rich, like chocolatey brown kind of color. And I've got my little powder brush, so I'm going to focus it on the outsides of my face and uh, we'll see. Hopefully this is like nice and light. So it is quite a bit darker. So if you're somebody that's my complexion, it's really nice, but you wanna keep it to the outsides of your face. Ooh, you guys, the finish is actually very beautiful. I'm really surprised. It's nice and smooth, spreads really easily. I'm impressed. Especially for me, it gives me that nice like summer, like little glow, you know what I mean? Okay, so I also added bronzer and I just wanted to kind of make sure it still is not quite as dark as my bronzer, but I think this powder is so beautiful. There's something about it. It gives you like a flawless, like airbrushed look. And I love it for the outsides of my face. Now again, if you are somebody that is darker, I think that this uh, kind of chocolatey brown color is going to suit your overall complexion really well. And if you are more of a like deeper skin tone even more, you can definitely use it under your eyes. I love this. I'm gonna have to look into um, what the next shade up is if I wanna start using it under my eyes, but Honestly, I think it's beautiful. Now, in comparison to my Derma Blend Warm Saffron, um, see, it's hard because the Derma Blend is one of my favorites, but I will let you guys know. Um, I definitely still see like my skin glow underneath the areas where the Lancome part is. Like, you see what I mean? Like this, I haven't even applied highlighter. And in that area is where I've used, you know, the Lancome setting powder. So I'm like, I love that, you know, I can still see that, but my skin doesn't look like oily. As kind of a surprise, I wanted to let you guys know, if you've made it this far in the video, I will be giving away um, a Derma Blend Warm Saffron Powder, because I have an extra one, so make sure that you look down in the description bar for details on that. Um, I kind of want to do random giveaways for those of you guys that actually spend time watching the whole videos and are subscribed to me. Um, so yeah, I'll include all the details down below. So I do want to let you guys know that I have to definitely come back at the end of the day so I can show you guys what this looks like with these setting powders. Do they keep me matte? Do they keep me looking flawless, you know? Because right now I'm feeling pretty good, but maybe in about six to eight hours it might not look as nice, you know what I mean? <laughs> so, um, with that being said, I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my makeup, put my brows on, put my highlight on, and I will come back with an update for you guys. So, I'm back. I've been wearing this makeup for, I wanna say, like, Hmm, like seven hours, seven and a half hours, somewhere around that time. And let's talk about the performance of this translucent powder. So, I will say, obviously, my Derma Blend, I know what to expect from this powder. It gives a very nice finished look. Um, it doesn't necessarily prevent creasing underneath my eyes because that does happen, but you know, it does a job, it keeps everything else locked in minus a few creasings. Now the actual Lancome on the outside of my face gave me such a beautiful flawless finish. I mean I've already talked enough about that already. I actually went outside and I was uh, taking some OOTD pics with my husband and I was in the daylight and I was like sweating a little bit you know because it was hot and I was so worried. I was like crap what if I've like completely ruined this test <laughs> But you know what? When I came home, even though I sweated a little bit, my makeup still looked like fresh. Like that's kind of weird, don't you think so? Like I would expect at least that I would be in need of some touching up, but no. 
Um, I mean, you guys can look, like I haven't added any makeup. I'm a little bit oily in my T-zone, which is to be expected, but I haven't done much else. I still feel like it looks flawless, it looks beautiful. If I were like going out, like I would be totally fine just blotting my T-zone and heading out the door. So I love this Lancome powder. I can't say enough good things about it. Now, I just wanna talk about in terms of size of these actual products. With the Lancome powder, you do get 0.5 ounces for $37, and the Derma Blend, you get one ounce for 27. So, hey, you get uh, twice the product size for cheaper, and you get half the product size of the Derma Blend one. So that's kind of unfortunate, but honestly, I feel like if you're looking for that smooth airbrushed glow, like, whoo, I think this powder will be amazing. Unfortunately, you know, like I said, I would have loved to test it under my eyes, but the color of this just was not appropriate. I do love it on my skin, and I think it's a good, like, you know, outer perimeter, like, setting powder to give me a beautiful, like, bronzed, like, melanin glow, but I would definitely not apply this under my eyes. I think that it does have some promise because of the beautiful glow that it gives, so I'm a little sad that I wasn't able to get the color that would go, like, right under my eyes, but... It's all right, you know. I'm definitely going to be putting a lot of use with this little guy for the rest of the summer. Like, I'm just really, really, really happy about that. Um, the only thing is, you know, for the price, I would have liked to see more product. I do think that it does give, like I said, a better finish overall than the Derma Blend. The Derma Blend will, like, you know, pack everything in there and it will look smooth, but it doesn't look like airbrush like the Lancome one does if that makes any sense to you guys <laughs> I hope it does um, but if there are any products that you guys want me to review out there please please let me know so that way I can do some research on it and fit it into my content schedule and if you guys aren't following me on Instagram now is a good time to do so because I have a lot of mini tutorials if you guys like Instagram makeup tutorials and um, I've got some really hot fire outfit picks coming up so I'm excited about that so you definitely want to make sure you're following me there and don't forget to check out some of my playlists and uh, some of my videos that I will have on the screen for you guys and thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch my videos like it truly makes me so happy so I just couldn't thank you guys enough and I love you guys and I will see you in the next video bye